Are you ready to pod, Ben? I'm ready, Matt. Are we, uh, are we recording? We are recording. We are. Oh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, right. everyone. We Voices are, in Japan. Yeah, Sorry. we are uh, filming again. So um, if you didn't check out our YouTube channel, check it out um, this week, please. Yes, yes. And um, I'm drinking a... This one's a new beer that I found in the Combini on my way up here. World Craft Beer by Suntory. Oh, well done. Yeah, 5.5%. Nice Tastes good. very good, yeah. The white, it's a white beer. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. 210 yen. There you go. Ben's seal of approval on that beer. I'm drinking a, a uh, Corona. <laughs> it's good. And uh, ben, Everyone knows Corona. And Ben is slightly freaking out about the little video camera there. He thinks it's moving. <laughs> Hello, Dave. It, it felt like, you know, kind of, what's that? Uh, 2001. 2001. Oh, Space Odyssey? Yeah, yeah. Never yeah. actually seen that. Really? You yeah. Should, uh, I I've heard it's really it. good, though. It's slow, but, um, yeah. It's long. It's very long. But it's the classic, right? It's one of the, the classic sci-fi movies that a lot of the new ones are kind of based on. Yeah, right. Okay. Don't spoil it for me, though. <laughs> um, hello, Benjamin. How are you? I'm good, Matt. I'm good. How was your weekend? Mm, actually, I didn't. It was like one of the first weekends I didn't really do much. So my highlight, I would say, was um, I had a burger. Oh, <laughs> that boy. was my highlight. <laughs> it was a, a place uh, downtown, a Sapporo station. I think it's a new restaurant. Oh. It's called the Johnson Burger. Yeah, yeah, I met the owner. Oh, is that... his name Johnson? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's, what's interesting about it is um, it's called the Johnson Burger because the company, the restaurant is opened by the Johnson Company and they make like furniture, interior, design wear. And I'm, I'm not sure if it's related to Johnson & Johnson. Is it that company? Is it the same one? Um, Do you know Johnson Johnson? Yeah, right? the uh, baby. Yeah, uh, pro- probably not. That. But what was really like the burgers are really good. Mm-hmm. Um, me and the missus went, um, and then we noticed when we were sitting down, uh, you see the restaurant is right next to the store, the Johnson yeah. store, and everything in the restaurant has a price tag on it. Oh. So you're sitting on a chair, and you can buy the chair, and all the cutlery, so you can buy anything that's in the restaurant. You know what you should do? You walk in. I want to buy everything right now. <laughs> now. I want it. That one. <laughs> no, not not the ones you want in stock. That one. <laughs> Go up to where people are sitting. Get off my chair. <laughs> yeah. I'm buying that. Yeah. So it's quite quite a smart business plan, right? It's like, you know, open up a store, um, whatever, selling something, and then just open up a restaurant next door to it, and then just have everything that you're selling there. Yeah, there's a, a, there's a few places that do that in uh, Sapporo. Yeah. No, really? Mm. So it's not the first no, of its kind. No, I don't think so. I was quite surprised. I thought it was a, a niche idea. <laughs> but maybe they're stealing from someone else. <laughs> Probably. But bloody expensive. A spoon. <laughs> Guess how much? <laughs> Guess how much a spoon costs? Uh, an, an expensive spoon would be 1,200 yen. Oh, dude. More. 2,000 yen. More. 3,000 Times 10. <laughs> what, 10,000 yen for a spoon? 15,000 yen. For a spoon. Was it a nice looking spoon? It didn't look that special to me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't buy it. $150 for a spoon. Yeah. You should have taken a picture. should have stole it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's sell it. Yeah. On eBay. eBay for 20,000 yen. Um, How's your weekend? Well, a bit more exciting than yours, Ben. Yeah, you I'm had gonna... two burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, I went down to a place called Hakodate. Been there, <laughs> been there, right. been there a, f- a few times. I like that place. So Hakodate is from <laughs> Ben's uh, Ben's geography lessons. Uh, so it's picture. on the witch's nose, under the hair, under the no, it's the it's, chin, right? It's the it, witch's chin. <laughs> just look on a map. I'm not going to say it's too hard to. Hakodate is down south of Hakodate. Uh, stayed there for two nights. And had quite a nice time. Went to a few places. One was called, uh, which you have to go if you do go to Hakodate. To those listening, 
check out a place called Tea Shop Yuhi mm. for a real Japanese experience. You get a Big Mac, <laughs> a Pepsi. <laughs> no, uh, you... Um, yeah, they got about 12 Japanese green teas there. And they're all from all over Japan. Like, I had one which was, like, in the top five of Japanese teas. I forgot what it's called, unfortunately. <laughs> My bad. Um, there's also ones that are won competitions in Japan and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's called Tea Shop Yuhi. It's did, on they, the- did they have any, like, PG tips and stuff like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. Nothing like that. So not 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 that kind of level. No, a bit no. bit lower. A bit <laughs> lower maybe. <laughs> but they're uh, next to a uh, cemetery, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Good selling point. <laughs> <laughs> See some ghosts while you're drinking some That's tea. That's right, man. Let's save that for our uh, ghost uh, <laughs> ghost Halloween thing. Which, if you still haven't listened to, go back and listen to it. <laughs> Um, yeah, you get about 12 different teas, and it's in an old wooden antique building, and you've got beautiful views over out, over the bay. Um, and I did a bit of research. <laughs> I thought it was like this beautiful old tea shop from 150 <laughs> years ago, but <laughs> it was built in 1885. Oh, okay, that's not bad. And it used to be the Hakodate Quarantine Station. Oh, <laughs> so there you go and wow. it played an important role in protecting Hakodate, Hakodate from the epidemic when the port was opened well how how long has it been a tea shop uh, about 80 years 80 80 maybe 80 yeah, yeah. So that's, that's pretty long for uh, Hokkaido standards yeah yeah it's yeah, really right. nice very relaxing and the tea is phenomenally good what uh, what tea what teas did you have any uh, any you can recommend? Uh, I can't remember. Green, Actually, green tea. <laughs> I didn't take a picture of the menu. So if you want to know, you are going to have to go find out because I went online I couldn't find the menu either. Oh, really? Yeah. They didn't have a website or anything? No. So, sorry wow. about that. Um, we also checked out a place, the uh, old public hall of Hakodate Ward. Uh, I'll put pictures up on the YouTube channel so you can actually see what we are talking about. And this was built in 1911. Oh, it was burnt down and then reconstructed in 1911. And the Crown Prince, later Emperor Taisho, was, uh, used this place as lodgings when he visited Hokkaido. Um, we also went to the night view and checked that out. Uh, up the, the sky. Top, the, the top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like the third most popular night view in Japan or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So top one of the top three. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been there. Yeah, really, really nice. It's much um, better at night time. <laughs> yeah, the night view is awesome at night. <laughs> Shit in the day. <laughs> um, man, there's, there's a fish market also in Hakodate, the early morning fish market. I've been to that one. Did you? Um, yeah, we had a walk around there, man. Did you go to, uh, like, everyone that goes to Hakodate always goes to this one restaurant, a burger, very famous burger place? <laughs> Oh, uh, Lucky Piero. Lucky Piero. Because it's only in Hakodate. It is only in Hakodate. And the burgers are kind of not very good. No, not really, yeah. I don't know why. The the number one burger there is Oh, let me guess. The The teriyaki Chinese Chinese burger. Yeah, Chinese chicken burger. Ah, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And not that great, really. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of like just pieces of zangi, like fried chicken. With some sweet and sour sauce, I guess, right? Right. In a bun. Um, I guess it's kind of unique because you can't really get that burger anywhere else in other restaurants. Like, Moss Burger won't sell that. McDonald's no. don't. Burger King don't. No. But everyone eats that. It's like the, the number one burger in Hakodate. Yeah, I, th- I don't know. The, the, yeah, the restaurants look pretty cool. They're all kind of decked out really interestingly. Um, yeah, we uh, the fish market... <laughs> it this it's a bit gruesome to be honest <laughs> there's this lady in like i don't know why japanese like really cute stuff and then they can be then they can not bat an eye to really gruesome shit you know so there was this kind of this six foot by six foot pool with live squid in there 
and there's this girl and she's got the little fishing rod and it's like, <laughs> oh, having so much fun. Then she catches this fish, ah, oh, kawaii. And then the guy takes it, cuts his head off <laughs> on a table where there's plates and some just soy a massive sauce. meat cube, just like whack. <laughs> Skins that like guts the thing. Wow. Rips it apart. Cuts the head off, the head's still moving, slices it up, and they're like, oh, so <laughs> You know, I'm like, man, it's like Braveheart, wow. like uh, William Wallace, you that's, know? That's the kind of stuff you want to see, though, right? When you catch your fish or your food and you want to see it prepared right in front of you so you know it's the freshest it can possibly I be. I guess. I mean, I'm not naive. Everything I eat, I know it is coming from animals, but um, poor squid, man. <laughs> <laughs> The guy should have been like, do you repent? <laughs> do you accept the king as your savior? And so then he's just like, So bam, she, bam. she was okay. She wasn't like getting squeamish. Oh, they were loving it. No, no, they were mm. loving it. And then, so uh, you were just only one like, ooh, in the back. Ooh, ooh. And I was like, can I grab a photo of the, the squid? <laughs> do it again. I want to take a video. I, I, I don't like eating things that are still alive. Put it, I don't, I'm not into that. Mm, yeah. And uh, did they... Because the squid is still moving. It's still usually, moving. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they and they ate it. It's probably going. What what's going on? <laughs> Where <are> my legs? <laughs> so um yeah, back to our last pod. If you are a vegan, you probably don't want to check out this uh, fish market too uh, too uh, much. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess vegans wouldn't have uh, fish markets on the top of their to do <laughs> list to visit but it seems a bit i mean there's a lot of uh restaurants down there for those by the way if you are staying down in hakodate hakodate book a fucking restaurant and reserve a seat because we spend an hour walking around sorry for the language but we walk around for an hour really every restaurant sorry we're full i'm like well are you going to be full in about an hour and a half oh uh, yeah we're full all night <laughs> We'll go to the next one. So, and they wouldn't say, you know what, come back at 9 yeah. p.m. Yeah. I mean, um, well, some, some of those restaurants are probably fully booked at the peak time. And then once they've sat a certain amount of people till like 9 o'clock, then they'll stop serving food a lot of times. If it's a small restaurant, especially, oh, like a family run restaurant. I couldn't believe it, man. I mean, do, where do people go in Hakodate? We're in the center of town. There are about 20 restaurants, 30 restaurants. There was one There was one that was empty and we walked in there and it was 15,000 yen for a bloody meal. I'm like, uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> um, so tourist, tourism is booming then in Hakodate? I don't know. Or, no, I didn't see any uh, foreigners there, a lot of Japanese people. Mm. But um, you couldn't, I couldn't, believe it and there were people walking in and getting kicked out and like wow yeah eventually we found one place and i was like thank you thank Mm. you they said just wait 20 minutes while we clear a space you know and we had some nice seafood we had a thing called chan chan yaki yes that is um awesome blown torch salmon right it's like a it's like grilled slightly grilled salmon uh no (laughs) it is it is (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no it, it's a it's um, abadi salmon basically oh, chan chan no, i'm joking with you it's uh yeah it's salmon you can have it you can choose between salmon or fish on uh fried vegetables with a miso paste mm, and right man it's popular with the fishermen yeah so you can get it like sushi restaurants too yeah like if oh, you say right. chan chan oh, they'll do that so put a bit good, of miso man. on the top yeah and then they'll blow blow torch it and uh, that's about the end of Hakodate. I am going to give you a uh, a riddle. Oh God, I'm terrible at riddles. Are you ready? Okay. Listening for those at home listening or in your car. Tell the viewers as well. <laughs> I am. When you okay, you ready? This is the riddle. I'm ready. When you sit on the seat, automatically the cold water flow. Wait for inverted uh, in speech marks off. The lamp to wash. When you sit on the seat, automatically the cold water flow. Wait for off the lamp to wash. What? Where did you get know. that from? It was on the bottom of my toilet seat in the hotel. <laughs> did you solve the riddle? I did not solve the riddle, but um, there you go. You don't think it... I mean, what made you think it was a riddle? Maybe it was just someone with really bad English trying well, to... I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and it was on the bottom of my toilet seat <laughs> as a warning or something, man. So, uh, if, yeah, if you go to Hakodate, 
Is in that restaurant? Was it in that restaurant? No, it was, at, in it was at the hotel. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone like read it in pen? No, yeah, it was typed out <laughs> from the hotel staff. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, All right, yeah, trying to entertain people while they're spending time on the lavatory. I guess that's, right, a, that's, quite, yeah. that's quite nice, very, very thoughtful. But um, mm. yeah, to sum up, Hakodate is a pretty awesome place. We uh, go there at least once a year, I think, like around Golden Week. Yeah, right. Um, check out the... The uh, cherry blossoms. It's a oh, really nice place. Cherry blossoms. Yeah, the Hakodate right Park is beautiful. There's man. that. What's that star thing? Go, Goryo Goryo Kaku. Kaku Park. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm guessing now. Um, what are we? November. Probably not. The autumn. The weather. Leaves, the... Oh yeah, right. Yeah. What do you? How do you say that in Japanese? The ko Koyo. Was it in full bloom when you were down there? No, but it was pretty warm down there, and then this monster storm came in. <laughs> Blew them all away. Blew them all away. <laughs> Got some great pics though, but I had a really good time. Everyone, if you are visiting Haku, uh, Hokkaido, um, check out Hakodate. Uh, it's got a great night view, awesome seafood, and and uh, squid running around. Yes, yeah. and uh, Lucky Piero. Remember Lucky, Lucky Piero. Lucky Get Piero. that Chinese chicken burger. <laughs> you will not like it. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I, I guess, you know, traveling, um, apparently... Japan is going through their eighth wave of COVID. Yeah. Um, I, I was reading some news. And, uh, well, actually, Hokkaido had the the biggest number of new cases in Japan. Yeah, excellent. A couple, awesome. of, couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, what was it? It said 850 per 100,000 people. This was uh, last Tuesday mm-hmm. or two Tuesdays ago depending on when this episode comes out. And uh, more than nearly three times the level of Tokyo, mm. which stood at 303, which is pretty crazy, man, right? It like, is. To have more than Tokyo. Right. And I guess it's because of Japanese locals coming to visit here rather than so. international tourists. Because I haven't seen many, I haven't seen many uh, foreigners around. Oh, really? Have you? Um, I've, I've seen Chinese I guess, They're but um, been. I guess, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm meant to say white people. <laughs> obvious, <laughs> I haven't seen obvious, many obvious white tourists. people around. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but, oh, but, do, you but, know, do you know what it could be, man? It could be. Uh, did you see the blood moon the other night? Oh, I didn't see it. I only saw pictures, but I actually missed the event. It was. Um, what time was it? It was like around 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, yeah. Did you actually it. see it? Yeah, I took pictures of it. Oh, man. You have to post those on our uh, our social media pages. On your thing, yeah. Yeah, Twitter, Facebook. Oh, if Twitter's still around. Oh, oh old Elon screwing it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so so like this, uh, what was it, this solar eclipse, mm-hmm. right? Um, how long did it last? How long did it last? Sorry. Uh, about an hour. And you what you you watch the whole thing? Uh what's uh the clouds got rid of it after after a while. But um yeah, no, I watched uh, I didn't, I just set up my camera and uh took some pictures of it. Um yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. Yeah, Sorry, I I actually didn't point. know about it until I got messages from my friends just saying, Oh, did you see the solar eclipse? Blah 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 and then by the time I read those messages it was I'm it was just too trying to bin my picture. Here it is. Show show the show the, the viewers. <laughs> Listeners, you can see it on our social media pages. Wow, that's cool, man. Yeah. And that was like a once in a lifetime opportunity or something? Um, I don't know. Next has, there been, in, has there been many of next those? Next one's in uh, six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once in a lifetime, if you're a moth. No, I don't know. Yeah, I think the next one's in 300 years or something like that. Yeah, and, I'm, and I missed, you missed it. it. I missed it. Oh, oh, I'm just going to have to live forever. Uh. Um. What are we talking about today, Ben? We're, we're talking about saving money and being smart. Yes, yes. So we're talking about, I found this article, um, uh, 20 money-saving tips if you're visiting or living in Japan. So I think some of them are related to either or. So 20. Yeah, twenty. We're not going to go through all of them. We'll go through a few. Well, a few um, of them are quite. Some are quite obvious, aren't they? Yeah, some are obvious. Uh, some are ones that you won't know until you actually come here. 
uh, obviously like you know center budget is a, is an obvious one uh, which is number one on the, the tip yeah. have a budget ready before you arrive that's pretty mm, obvious that's a bulk standard yeah isn't it? let's uh, let's ignore that one uh how about this one use kake bowl use kake bowl i actually didn't know this one uh kake bowl is a renowned 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 <laughs> renowned Rena- renowned Japanese Italy. budgeting system that aims to offer control over your personal spending and shed light on your unique spending habits. What, so do, it was, what are uh, your unique spending habits, Ben? I don't have any spending habits. That's my unique spending <laughs> habit. <laughs> I don't spend any money. Right. That's what I try to do anyway. Right, right. But it was invented uh, in 1904, and it was initially made for housewives to track their family finances. Can we can we correct that? It was made by housewives to track their husbands' <laughs> finances. So yeah, so check out it's a it's a website. Um, I actually haven't checked this out, but anyway, uh, they ask you four basic questions, which includes how much money do you have available to spend, how much money would you like to save. How much money are you currently spending and how can you improve next month? And one more. Is your husband going out to uh, snack bars and spending all his money? <laughs> well, actually, how about, how about for you, Matt? This is uh, for a month. How much money do you have available to spend every month? <laughs> hey? We can do a cake ball. Right now. Right now, question um, for you. I don't know, Ben. I've... Uh, roughly, enough, roughly. Enough. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> it's very, uh, how personal, mu- okay, how much money would you like to save? It is very personal, I'd like I guess. To save. <laughs> it is very personal. <laughs> well, I get three thousand yen a month. Why don't no, we? How much? S- well, okay, let's let's do it in terms of percentage of your salary. How about that? <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, how much money do you have available to spend as a percentage of your salary? Um, quite a lot. Man, nah, that's not very helpful. <laughs> Maybe uh, I, was pro- I think I spend about half my salary on shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you spend your salary on? Half your salary on baseball that? cards. <laughs> um, I spend half my salary. Well, no, that goes to rent and uh, utilities, the car, my motorbike, stuff like right, that. Right. Well, so, so th- well, this question is: How much money do you have available to spend on oh. on things you want to spend your money on, not things you need to spend your money on? So, not rent, not gas, not whatever, not bills, stuff like that. I don't know, half, I guess. Half. That's quite. That's that's quite a lot. Yeah. All right. How much of that would you like to save per month? All of it. <laughs> okay. How much are you currently spending of that 50%? Oh, maybe half of that. <laughs> <laughs> and how can you improve next month? Uh, stop drinking beer. <laughs> oh, that's, there a you good go. one. that's a good one. Um, As he I'm says not... whilst he's drinking beer. <laughs> Corona. Um, I don't think... I don't know this. what I find... I don't do this system, but I'm not Japanese, but... What I know or what I've heard is that the Japanese system is... Um, give it to your wife. Give your salary... Get, like, I mean, you can only get a bank account in one person's name. Um, I'm not sure if that's still true. I yeah, it is that. true. Yeah, it is you, true. Can't, you can't have joint bank accounts. You can't have a joint bank account. So usually go in the wife's name because uh, obviously she's better at counting money than the man <laughs> is. And his salary will go into her salary. I mean, this is a traditional stay-at-home homemaker with the husband going out working. Things have changed now, uh, uh, or are changing, I guess. But his salary will go into that bank account, and she will give him pocket money once a month out of that money for him him to go out and enjoy himself. (laughs) (laughs) Don't spend it all at once. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah basically right yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah. yeah it's uh it's a funny old system um mm. how much money do you have available available to spend ben not much not much I, i'm i'd have to be honest uh the the economy is not being very good to me recently well, i can tell by your clothes and hair there ben well that's it i haven't had a haircut in like a a, a year well you know, i haven't paid for a haircut anyway 
Um, your hair looks lovely. I cut it myself. Oh. No, no. <laughs> uh, drinking cheap World Craft Suntory beer, 110 yen. Getting only one Thai massage three times a week as opposed <laughs> to five times a week. So, yeah, I oh, percentage-wise, a lot less than half. Right. Maybe around a quarter, maybe even less than that. To be able to spend. To, on to actually spend, yeah, yeah. Right. Once minus out, you know, all the bills and oh, okay. living stuff. Well, you live a very frugal life, Ben. Uh, I have to. Yeah, <laughs> I have no. I don't have an option. I have to chew your frugally. rice six times to get all the the uh... right. Spit it out. Eat it again. Yeah. Is that what you do? <laughs> Save it later. That makes sense. Um, let's move on, Ben. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bloody money. Okay, here's a good one for travelers. Oh, sorry, that's ah. Forget it. Don't worry. No, no, go on. <laughs> I missed that joke. <laughs> no, no, I was going to, remember before we started the podcast, I said a, a story for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I said save it. Yeah, I've okay. applied for the Squid Game Challenge. It's an actual Squid Game. You can apply. Yeah, you go on to the, and you actually do the things. And if you win, you get like $4 million. Not $4 million yen? $4 million. It's being filmed in England. <laughs> no way. I've applied for it. <laughs> So this is a, a TV game show. A TV game show called The Squid Game. Right? Wow. When When is it planning to go ahead and kick off? Mm, uh, early next year. So if you get it. If I get selected, I'll go on. I'll f- go to England and film there. And then if you're the last man standing, you are... A million yeah, four dollars. Million, then I'd pay for a haircut for you. <laughs> um What's the audition process? I oh, don't know. You just send in a, a couple of photos and a why do you want to be on that? You know. Did you write an essay? Give him a good good reason. <laughs> good reason. But just one one sentence. Just said Ben needs a haircut. <laughs> All right. Let's let's anyway. That was my news for you. Wow, the Squid Game, man. I, I think you'd be great on that. Do you think you could win it? Sure. Of course. Well. All right. Um, I'm going to choose one off here. This one's good for for travelers. Mm-hmm. So if you're coming to Japan, which you probably will be if you're watching this podcast, make and the ha- most. And have bought a ticket. <laughs> and have bought a ticket. Make the most of Japan's cheap food. Ah, uh, yes. So there's yes, a lot yes, of yes. cheap uh, fast food in Japan. Japanese fast food, not like McDonald's. I mean, McDonald's is cheap, but they have uh, like Yoshinoya. Uh, uh, yeah. Sukiya. Do you want to explain what Yoshinoya is? It's like a beef beef bowl yeah beef gudon bowl. gudon yeah. is basically a beef bowl shredded kind of beef with onions and mushrooms um and you get like different kind of varieties of that with some sides maybe miso soup some uh some kimchi um yeah for i think it starts to like eat well the last time i went there i think it started like 350 yen for oh, a bowl okay uh, like a medium sized one and it's a good kind of evening food, like on the way home after a drunk night out. Right. I know Burke used yeah. to do that a yeah, lot. Yeah. I, I used to accompany him too, but that was his kind of going home food. He yeah. just he just put his head in the bowl and <laughs> fall asleep in it, wouldn't he? And that's where all his hair went. <laughs> Left it there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, make the most of Japan's cheap food. A lot of places like that. Uh, another one, Nako also. Um, they have the gyudon. They also have like uh, udon noodles. Um, oh, udon's great. Man. Yeah, yeah, the they have the egg don one, right. which is I can't remember the name of that. Yeah, udon is a thick uh, white um, noodle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like kind of like yeah, and they have uh, soba, of course, uh, yep. at those places. Um, set meals, yep. and they all kind of range from about four hundred yen, which is man. It's going to be like three bucks now. Yeah, it's crazy, right? The, um, yeah. And probably, I, I don't know if it is healthier, but I would say it is a bit more, bit better for you than going to McDonald's or something. Oh, uh, definitely, yeah. definitely. Like um, soba noodles, right? Yeah. Oh, so you got convenience stores, you got the cheap onigiris, which is the rice balls. 
I always go for the chicken and mayo one. The, sorry, the tuna and mayo. Tuna mayo. Had one just before I came here, actually. Yeah, yeah. tuna mayo from they're, they're uh, Family Mart. They're 100 yen. They're a dollar. You know? yeah. So if you want to really yeah, cut down on food, yeah, try and or cut down on expenses on your food. Go fishing. Catch a squid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of cheap food in Japan. You can Obviously, oh, there's definitely. a lot of expensive food, but you can find some really good cheap food, too. Yeah, I think ramen's a good go. Uh, yeah. And yeah, ramen said, kind of varies. Five, that's about 800 yen, I guess. Yeah, depending remember. where you are. If you're downtown, it's a little bit more. And what food would you avoid, then, Ben? If you come into Japan, I don't, man, I like pretty much everything here. I mean, expensive what? Expenses wise. Oh. Well, you can get cheap sushi. Like, a lot of people oh. think that sushi is expensive, but you can get some really cheap sushi in Japan too. Like, you go to the, the Kaiten sushi, the conveyor belt sushi places, Hanamaru, uh, Toriton. You've been there, Matt? Toriton. You know Toriton? Yeah, I know Toriton. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very, very good sushi. Um, much better than any sushi you'll probably get in your home countries anyway, even though it's like super cheap. Um, expensive restaurants, I don't really go to expensive restaurants. You know me, man. I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> you're, you're a man of simple pleasures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Four loaves of white bread and a glass of water. Um, but if you go shopping, I mean, uh, fruit is expensive over here. Um, and apple, melons are yeah. like $40. But if you come now, which is like wintertime, mikans, tangerines, satsumas are very cheap now. Really? Yeah, it's like it's the season, and we we went to a grocery store the other day, and we bought a one kilo box of mikans for uh, one thousand three hundred dollars, <laughs> <laughs> one thousand yen. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah, ten yen yeah, um, a kilo. Also for vegetables, yeah. If you do want to stay on a budget, there's a lot of real cheap uh, vegetable stores. Kind of um, mum mu- and pop. Places. Yeah, like those. You can buy a whole. We saw a whole bag of like a kilogram of carrots for like three hundred yen. So avoid the supermarkets if you want to buy Maybe. vegetables. If you're gonna go fruits, to a supermarket, yeah. go to Big, B I G. Yeah, super cheap. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there you go. Especially if you're like you know doing self catering, you've got an Airbnb or something, want to cook at home. Oh, but yeah. um, yeah, get the noodles, man. The uh, the instant cup ramen yeah, you're talking man. about, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll find a lot of good flavors that you won't have in your home countries. Tomato. That's a, I got a request from that from uh, my cousin when I was really? going back to England. He's like, oh, give me some of that tomato cup ramen. Wow. Because so, apparently you can't get them back at home. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah so make the most of Japan's cheap food. That will help you save money. <clears throat> um, avoid foreign imports. Um, what I, it's, it's kind of a weird thing like a lot of tourists when they come to Japan mm-hmm. they always seem to go to McDonald's and Starbucks and Starbucks is crazy expensive right for coffee yeah but I think people go to Starbucks not for the coffee but because A it's they miss home <laughs> you get Wi-Fi there you got plugs you can plug in the stuff but don't all just... coffee shops have that I'm pretty no, sure I'm like sure. Dotor has that that's one thing uh, I know Sapporo I, I'm not going to speak for the rest of japan but um bloody wi-fi man it's um hard to get yeah really there's more uh, i remember 10 you know i went to Vietnam. there's more wi-fi in cambodia than there is in some places in Sapporo. you know it's there's a lot of coffee shops but i think that might be that's changing mm. it's definitely changing now okay but um they're a bit behind the ball there um what was your point? <laughs> avoid foreign imports. Yeah, I was always uh, surprised. Avoid Ben. Why? <laughs> avoid Ben big time, man. If you can, he's always around. I'm always around. Hanging around the I'm toilets. Hanging look outside for the, you. Hanging around at this front of my house. <laughs> um, in foreign, uh, foreign imports. Yeah, fair enough. Even uh, though, uh, man, I go to Costco and they got a great cheese there, man. Uh, well, that's well, Costco is different, isn't it? Like yeah. that is probably the exception when it comes to foreign imports. Do you like cheese? I love cheese, man. Man, they've got an old English cheddar cheese at Costco, and it crumbles off the knife. It's it's, it's magnificent, <laughs> it's magnifique, <laughs> yeah. man. Ooh, crumbly cheese. Yeah, I love it. Do you like the? Like the smelly stuff as well, like the blue, the blue cheese yeah, and man. the goat's cheese. Love yeah, it, I love that as well, yeah. yeah. Smeared all over my 
Hold on. <laughs> Are we still recording? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to eat that, Ben. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what what you got on there, Matt? Have you have you got have you got this list in front of you? I don't think you have. Have you? It says find a three mat apartment. <laughs> yeah. well, I live in a one mat apartment. Yeah. That's my joke for today. You can find a it. three mat apartment. I think this uh, this is probably more applicable to people, people living here yeah. in Tokyo. Living in Tokyo, maybe. Yeah, um, I think Three for those on a small. budget, find your nearest hundred yen shop. They're everywhere. They got. We talked about this a bit last week. There's um, one called Daiso. Um, there's one called Can Do. There's a Daie. There's a Seria as well. Yeah, se- Seria. Yeah. yeah, and you can buy like anything in those places. <laughs> Point cards. Oh, God, point cards are annoying now, aren't they? Yeah, every, anything? every shop is a, a point card. Well, I think if you're traveling, probably not worth getting one. If you're living here, I think you've got to be quite selective with your point cards. Um, well, I guess, yeah, because everywhere you go, they will offer you one. Mm-hmm. And you you got to have to get a point card of someone that you frequent very often. Mm-hmm. Um do you use any point cards, Matt? Yeah. What do you use? Uh, <laughs> there's an electronic shop. I use like Big Camera. Big okay. Camera. Uh, They're pretty good, camera. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Yodobashi too. Um, yeah, there's a few others. Do you use any on convenience stores point cards? No, I use like a Rakuten for when I fill up on uh, gas or petrol. Oh, you got a Rakuten card? Yeah. Nice. Is that a credit card? I th- uh, I've uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rakuten car's good, I heard, because that works for, what do you say, like gas? Um, no, sorry, it's not a Rakuten car. <laughs> it's, it's something. <laughs> it's, a spe- it's a card for that petrol station. If I keep going to that petrol station, oh, I can use the so card. So it has to it. be that specific petrol yeah, station. But, I mean, you get a pretty good discount on it, which mm. we need in these these dark days. I recommend if you live in Japan, get a. Uh, Japan Airlines mileage credit card and you can get one mile per every hundred yen you spend and uh, and I use it for everything like kombinis Wait, so where do you get that card from? from Jow because I order direct I'm going to do yeah. it right now do it do it man but I remember like a lot of people said they had trouble getting one which was oh. kind of weird because I didn't have I? any trouble right. getting one um, I'm sure now they would love your service because right, you know okay. they're they're running low on this is a credit card credit what? card yeah oh, okay and then um so then i end up through building up my points or miles i end up getting about an a free flight a to year. otaru <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually when i went back to england i used the uh, air miles to fly back not not return wow. uh, i got a single for one trip mile, that's pretty good man yeah 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 it was uh, at the beginning. It was a hundred yen for uh, on hundred yen for two miles. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's still pretty good, yeah. man. A mile's quite a long way. It is. It is. Yeah. So how many onigiris is that, man? That's about ten thousand onigiris. <laughs> lot, you are you are flying. Well, to get a free flight, you need at least fifteen thousand miles. That will take you to Tokyo. Huh. So. 15,000 on Nigiris. <laughs> One trip to a soap land. <laughs> yeah. you know how much they are, Ben? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I've never, never been. <laughs> I'm just laughing because the hotel I stayed in in Hakode, my missus is always joking about soap lands. And there was a soap land right next to our hotel. Really? <laughs> yeah. Do you see like loads of like kind of shady dudes coming out? And no, like... we did see three drunk guys walk in and uh, walk out again quite quickly. With big smiles on their faces. No, I, oh god, they were wasted. <laughs> uh, what else we got in here? Maybe, maybe how much time? About? Maybe time for one more. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is good. Is it? Make the most <laughs> of, make the most of coin laundromats. <laughs> so if you're traveling, um, doing your own laundry or doing your laundry in your hotel can be quite expensive, actually. So. Try to find a coin laundromat 
find a coin laundromat. They're uh, they're really cheap. Hmm. Like you could wash a let's see, what like a two kilogram is two kilograms it's about a hundred yen, isn't it, or something like that. Hundred hundred yen. Like if you want to dry a bunch of clothes, you just like a hundred yen for ten minutes. But if you do like a wash dry a set for like an hour, it's usually about seven hundred yen, something like that. Oh, okay. For for a big bunch of clothes we can do what i do and just go down to the local river under the just, bridge just under the bridge wash my stuff and hang out in the sun <laughs> it's perfect i've just seen a thing here um <laughs> kick start the new year with a lucky bag what is that called again is a name for that uh, uh fuku fuku bukuro. Bukuro. it's yeah. a japanese new year tradition where shop owners fill gift bags with a range of merchandise and sell them at a heavily discounted price over the first few days of the new year i'm uh, not i'm not sure i agree with this one i mean well, you buy things at a discounted price but the problem is you don't know what's in the bag so it might be a bunch of stuff you don't want. <laughs> so I got a bag of vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <get> want a trade? <laughs> I got feces in mine. Um, <laughs> it's just the shop owner. Yeah, just defecating in a bag is a joke. There you go. You buy that. Uh, <laughs> lucky bags are provided on a first come, first served basis. So be sure to visit your favorite stores early on New Year's Day. I did not know this. I'm gonna maybe have a. Have you never so, never bought one before? Never. How much I've never they? bought one. Uh, they they range depending on obviously the shop you go to. So if right. you go to like Louis Vuitton, mm-hmm. then it's going to be very expensive. I think Apple might do one too. So you just get you can't look in the bag first. You're not allowed to look in the bag. Yeah. What's in the box? But once you bought it, I heard once you bought it, you open it, and there's kind of an area where <laughs> you can trade oh really so oh, there's like right. a bunch of customers and you're like you want that i'll take this that's pretty cool right yeah, that is cool if that's true yeah hey we all got feces <laughs> yeah what to do uh, i will just make that up there is something that's not on this list and i'm going to talk Ooh. about this from experience for, for budgeting for budgeting clothes okay. man or oh, actually quite a lot of stuff skis snowboards musical instruments nearly everything you can think of um there's a now, I know these are in Hokkaido. I can't say if they're... Let me just check if they're all in Japan. It's called a, it's a shop called Second Street. Yeah, there's one uh, down the road from where we are now, Tanuki Koji. There's a Second Street, a few uh, few stores down the road. Um, um, they sell everything, right? They sell everything. And you're going to buy... Um, I bought a couple of tennis rackets from there. Right, yeah. I mean, A few summers ago. Well, I mean, because in Japan, when people get... I mean... Japanese people get rid of stuff very quickly to get the latest thing. That's that's just maybe that's a bit of a generalization, but it's what I've noticed. Um, so you're going to find a lot of awesome goods, microwaves, yeah, gas like, stoves, like house appliances. House appliances are really kind of very reasonably priced and in great condition because they. They always like take things from people that sell them the goods, but they refurbish it. They make mm. it look almost brand new, yeah, and then resell it. Yeah. Some of the stuff is quite expensive sometimes. Like I've seen some TVs that are quite pricey, like ten thousand yen. Yeah, for a used TV, would you pay that? I know. I'd say well, I guess it depends how big it is. There was one that's <laughs> sixty <laughs> inches. <laughs> Take that. This one was six. I was there the other day. It was sixty-five inches for uh, in Second Street. Yep, yeah, for sixty thousand yen, six hundred bucks. Is that is that a good deal? I've I've never bought a TV that's, before. Is that a good 4K deal? That's four K as well. No, that's a pretty good. Um, Jeez, sixty inches. Uh, what did that do? Upgrade to then? He must have got eighty I mean, inches probably. Fuck. Um, so I really recommend, especially if you're moving here, go check out Second Street. Good for like camping gear, oh, um, sports gear, so yeah, yeah uh, snowboard gear, and um, and yeah, they're they're quite picky with what they take. Because I remember I tried to sell some of my stuff, and I'm like, nah, I'm not taking that. <laughs> some dirty undies, some <laughs> yeah. dirty jocks. No, thank you. They wouldn't. They wouldn't take my my work shirts that I try to get rid of. Um, yeah. And, and and also, if you do want to get rid of stuff, don't do it because you want to make money because they will give you fuck all. Yeah, right. They will give you like 100 yen for a 10 bits of 
yeah, items exactly. of clothing or something. I remember I took some boots here and then they said, we'll give you 10 yen for them. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I, was, I was, no, I'm, like, I'm going to take my boots and I'm going to throw them in the bin. Yeah. But I mean, the pro- I think in- <laughs> yeah, it's almost like... Yeah, yeah well, I think well, all those but, kind of used stores. Yeah, I mean, in Australia you have, a, I think it's, I forget what it is. There's char- like charity, charity shops, charity, charity bins, shops. and you chuck your old clothes in a bin, and that somebody comes and picks them up and takes them. And I don't know why they don't have that here. Well, that's the thing; they don't do that, right? Like you can't just give them stuff. Um, you have to sell it. You have to sell it to them. Um, unless you go to H and M, actually, if you want to get rid of your clothes. H and M. H and M. There's the, a the music the, store. No, that's uh, that's H M V. Which I think went bust. Oh, sorry, H&M, a couple of years ago. Yeah, H&M, <laughs> the, the clothing the, store. Yeah, yeah, the clothing store, the Swedish Swedish brand, Scandinavian mm. brand. Is it child labor that place? One of those, yeah. <laughs> but there's a there's a recycle box where you can donate clothes, used clothes. So, um, and where yeah, do they um, go to? H uh, and M employees, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can find those places, but they're few and far between. Um, okay. Apart from that, I think H and M might be the only place you can actually donate things, which oh, kind of sucks. I did not know that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's one. There's one in Nodori downtown. Yeah, mm. we're poor. You can uh, donate to us. Yes, yes. Donate to me. I hey, need, Jeff uh, Bezos, if you're listening, if you're listening, give us a hundred million dollars. <laughs> He's giving it to Dolly Parton. What? Why? Because she's a nice lady. She doesn't need the money, surely. We do, Ben. No, I'm saying Dolly Parton doesn't need the money. I know. Why is, he giving the, why is he giving the money for? Because uh, he's Jeff Bezos, I oh, guess. Well, shouldn't he give it to someone that needs it? It's like, it's like giving it to Bill Gates <laughs> or, and Elon Musk. Here you go. <laughs> Idiots. Hey, don't say that about Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, give us, yeah, give us might, 100 million, please. Yeah, he might shut my Amazon account down or something. <laughs> Amazon's pretty good, though, I must say. <laughs> Anyways, what do you think? Are we, are we about that time? I think we've helped a lot of people tonight. We have on, on how to <laughs> how to budget on your travels or if you are living in Japan. Yeah, um, yeah I'd yeah, say, so. yeah, second street for, for buying cheap stuff. Uh, yeah, cheap food, as we said, yeah, uh, Yoshinoya. Nakao, Sukiya. Yeah, um, convenience store. Convenience stores. <laughs> really Loads cheap. of them around. Uh, find a coin laundromat if you need to do some laundry don't get your hotel staff to do that because they'll rip you off um, and that's pretty much what we covered then we find the 100 yen stores um, yep. don't buy vegetables at the supermarket find a mum and pop store exactly. probably down Tanuki Koji right they they have those kind of no, things no they're, they're too expensive where did you find your uh, no, cheap veggies I can't that Ben no I can't <laughs> Uh, no, there's a few, uh, there's a shop outside of town, or oh, ten minute drive away. That's where oh. we get our vegetables. Yeah, yeah. Is that towards Toya, maybe? No, it's towards um, Shiroishi. All right, okay. Well, uh, well, thanks for joining us, everyone. Yeah. Um, hope you learned something to help you budget and save money. I guess I I kind of use all these things. Mm. Um, yeah. So it's helped me save some money. Yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, again, we are filming this again. Uh, Ben's wearing a nice striped shirt. Um, he's not wearing a hat again, I am. But uh, you can check us out on YouTube. So what's the address? It's just Voices in Japan. Yeah, on YouTube. YouTube slash Voices in Japan. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Voices We're gonna, in Japan podcast. We'll put that up on uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter. Yeah, and if you want to help support the show, you can leave us a rating and review on apple podcasts um much appreciated yeah and leave us some comments in the in the youtube section the comment section and and matt would be happy to reply he's, I will he's, reply. A, he's yep. got a lot of free time in his hands and uh, if you really want to support us we have our patreon page that is in the link as well so uh on our youtube and wherever our all our social media pages so yeah support us at patreon.com and okay. we would really be grateful for that and and uh yeah, that would really help us. Okay, everybody, have an awesome week, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.